Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out any of our important revision classes. So now I will talk about my today's session. So we are going to revise the chapter 1 exception handling and I am going to give you the important question. So this chapter we can concentrate on all the three marker questions and this class I am going to guide you how to write smartly in your answer sheet and I am going to tell you how actually you can score good marks by using these keywords. Okay, so these are the keywords definitely it should be highlight your no mark. So don't skip the video so that it will be useful for you. So this chapter, the important questions, define an exception, explain any two importance or need of exception. So if you're taking the allotment of the mark, so define an exception, they will give you one mark and explain any two importance, they will give two marks. Okay, so this is the first question. Second question, explain syntax error, runtime error and logical error. So here everything will be carry one one mark. So all the time, no, you better you can put one example, okay, and explain any three types of built-in exception. So you have to be thorough with all the built-in exception with at least one example. And next, explain the right statement with a syntax and an example. So here, what is the meaning of right statement? One mark, syntax one mark, and example also one mark. Next one, explain the assert statement with syntax and example. The same like a right statement. One mark for the asset statement uh, explanation, syntax will be one mark and example will be one mark. Again, explaining explain the finally clause with this syntax and example. So this question, if you study this question, there are two another more questions, automatically you will write it. I will tell you how to do that, okay? And uh, this question, it is there in NCRT. Every syntax error is an exception, but every exception cannot be a syntax error. So justify the statement, okay? I'll tell you the answer for this. And eighth question explains rising, catching and throwing an exception. Now let's see one by one. So first, what is an exception? Mention any two examples. If they're asking exception, you have to mention here. So these are the important keyword I highlighted here. Exceptions are what? Unexpected error that occurs while a program is running. So here the unexpected error you have to mention when the unexpected error will occur during the runtime right that you have to mention it so what it will happen if you are not handle it it will interrupt the program or cause incorrect result okay if you not remember this also at least write this statement then provide any one example division by zero or value error clear so this is what the explanation you have to mention next what is the need or importance so, importance of exception, if you are handling the exception, what it will happen? It allows the program to continue running smoothly and making the program easier to read and maintain and to find and fix the problem quickly, right? So, these are the three points you can mention it. And the next question is, explain syntax error, runtime error and logical error. So, if you are explaining the syntax error, make sure that you have to mention it occurs when Python grammar rules are not followed. This is the important keyword. Okay? And found before the program runs. So, when this error occurs, so before running the program only, this syntax error will occur. That is the second point. Third point, how do you write? It is also called a parsing error. If you remember this, one marker also you can write it. So, syntax error is also called what? Parsing error. So, one example you can provide. Missing a colon in a if statement. That's it. Clear? So, missing a colon in a if statement, you can mention it. Okay? Or, you can mention missing a bracket. Anything is fine. And what about the logical error? Logical error, it occurs during the runtime and it produces the wrong output. So, these are the two keywords you have to mention. So, what is the example you can mention? Or, instead of multiplication symbol, I am using the plus symbol, anything. It is a very basic example. Clear now? So, this you can write it. And what about the runtime error? It occurs while the program is running. It occurs due to unexpected situation. This is the key word. So, runtime error will occur due to unexpected situation. Example is division by zero. Always remember, runtime error means the first example you can give it as 
division by 0. So, if you write it easily, you score the mark. So, first chapter, I explained thoroughly like how, what are the types of built-in exception and what is an example. And those who didn't watch, I will post that uh, link in the description box. You can please watch that, okay? So, if you mention the three types of built-in exception, then one line of that, what is it meaning and one small example, you can give it. So, that easily you can score three marks from that. Next one, explain the right statement with its syntax and the example. So, if I, as I told you, right statement, they will give what? One mark. Syntax, they will give one mark. Example also, one mark. So, here, very easily, you can remember this three point. So, first, the important keyword is, it writes manually trigger. So, you can just mention, it is a manually trigger and exception. Rice means manually trigger. If the condition is true, it writes an exception. So, when you are checking the program, if the condition is true, it writes an exception. If the condition is false, the program continues normally. So, these are the three points you can mention. Here, the important, very, very important keyword is manually trigger. Clear? And what is the syntax here? Rice, exception me and in the bracket, optional arguments. And what is the example you can give? Age equal to int of input of enter your age. If age is less than 0, for example, I have given here 5. So, enter the age I am giving here what? Uh, minus 2. So, what it will happen? Age is less than 0. The answer is true. Then it will write the error. So, here the one thing is if the condition is true and you are using here what? If condition. If the condition is true, it writes an exception. Otherwise, the program will 